I'm back and here to bring you a video of my amazing experience recreating the war room for Mirror's Edge. Huh? What's that? Mirror's Edge hasn't been relevant in years? Well, it's too late now because I've already gone and made it. So before we get started, let's just have a quick look at our collective favourite game and see how they did it. As you can see, it looks fairly straightforward. You just jump next to a wall to get the war run started, and you'll arc up a bit before starting to arc down. If you have any downwards momentum though, it'll skip the first bit and you'll just continue arcing down with your momentum. Also, you can technically jump between walls, but it doesn't do much for you as when you get to the second wall, you almost always have downwards momentum anyway, so you just continue to arc down. Now I've downloaded all that data into my brain, it's time to recreate this bad boy. Let's open up UE4, create the project. Just type in a project name. Oh yeah, that's a good project name. Then we select the first person template, we open up the example map, and then we... <laughs> then we add a few different walls to test this wall run on as we go and we are good to get going. Let's jump in and get making <laughs> We need to get the most basic wall run sub, which is just getting glued to the side of the wall and moving a straight line parallel to it. So all we need to do is get the normal and rotate it by 90 degrees in the direction you're moving. That is the greatest wall run I've ever seen. Can't improve on that. Thanks for watching guys. Fine, I'll fix it, all right? There are three cases where we need to end the wall run. For the first case, we are currently doing a check with a sphere for collisions with the wall when we start the wall run. So all we need to do is keep doing that check when the wall run is going and where there are no collisions, just drop you off the wall. For the second, all we do is check if you're on the floor and then kill the wall run. And then for the third, you hit spacebar, wall run's done. Next up, we don't want this to look like a steaming pile of hot trash on a Tuesday night, so let's fix that. The character currently floats along the wall like he's on a magic carpet conveniently attached to the wall, so what we're going to do is make him go up and come back down in a more natural way. First, let's get our boy moving up the wall. I've set up this timeline that gets him moving upwards. Wait. No. Wait, no. Stop. Stop. Oh, okay, well after some tweaking some values that actually feels pretty good. For coming back down I just turn on gravity for a short amount of time after this going up bit finishes. There's one final thing we need to do to make this war run actually look good and that is add a bit of tilt to the camera when you start the war run. To do this I just do a simple lerp between 0 and 20 slash minus 20 depending on which direction you're going on the wall. Then I just do it in reverse when you come off the wall and hot damn, we've got ourselves the war room for Mirror's Edge in UE4. Just like I promised Satan in return for this tasty, tasty bottle of Heinz ketchup. Just as a quick comparison, here's mine and here's Mirror's Edge's war room. Do you think they look similar? I think so. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other features from other games you'd like to see me recreate then drop a comment below and thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.